Okay, hi again. Uh, now we're going to go through plotting. This is the, the first case. Uh, we're going to have a uh, single plot on a single graph. It's going to look something like this. Um, so this is a simple case. Our commands will be plot and then our variable dot time, comma, our variable dot signals dot values, and then uh, just in parentheses. You can also add colors uh, by adding the color name in single quotes. An X label will be uh, X label and open parenthesis, single quotes, the title you want, end quote, in parenthesis. Same thing for Y label and the word title will give you a title at the top of your, your plot. Uh, the grid on will give you that grid, the grid lines all across it, make measuring a little easier, comparing a little easier. Uh, and hold on will uh, freeze your plot if you decide to add another plot. That'll go into our second example. So here in MATLAB, we had just had this, uh, our demonstrations. So um, this is demo two I have up. So whatever settings we ended up having here, I'll press simulate. And then I'll go in here and our, our output variable was Y. So I'll just use that plot. And then y dot time y dot signals dot values, and let's make it green. So I'll put single quotes green and in parenthesis. So here we have this well lime green that might not have been the best choice, but <laughs> here we have this. If we want to change that color and we don't like it, we can always use the arrow up there, right click, color, and then select something, we'll choose uh, black. Okay, and now that shows up. We can always change the line style and the width the same way. Make it a thick line, make it dashed, whatever you want. You can also go up here to insert X label and that will let you uh, add the X axis down here, X axis label. Okay, so that's how you do it from the plot itself um, and the text commands. Y axis, let's try that. Y label, and in parentheses and single quotes, uh, Y axis, end quote, end parentheses, enter, and now we have Y axis right here. Okay, let's add some grid lines. Type grid on, and there they are. And then you could also type hold on. I'll go ahead and do that. And that will just pre prepare us for the second example. Here we have plotting multiple plots on the same graph of something like that if we wanted something that looked like this. And it's always a good idea to add a legend. So your code here uh, in this case, um, you'll go ahead and use the same plot command. Make sure you have the hold on to freeze the frame. And then you'll just go and use your plot. You do not have to type hold on again. It's a toggle. It's on or off. So, But one thing you'll want to be aware of is going ahead and doing your labels at the very end. So let me see. Uh, we go back to MATLAB and say we want to plot another signal. Um, let's use the, uh, we'll do y times 2 or something to be a little different. We'll want this color to be blue. I just press enter. And now we have this signal right here and if you can see it there is a blue line. We can change the th line thickness so it's a little bolder. So now we have two plots. We didn't erase the first one since we have the hold toggled on. So we've accomplished that. There are times where uh, you'll want to add the the title and such at the very end. So Our third example will be multiple plots on multiple graphs. And this is the trickiest one since your plot command changes. So here our code will then be subplot, S-U-B-P-L-O-T. 
and then you'll do the number of rows, comma, the number of columns, and which plot you're on. So let's say we want to do three plots. We'll have three rows and a single plot per row, so we'll do one column, and then we'll start with plot number one. Your plot command, that's uh, once you've done the subplot, it's the same line. Plot your uh, variable.time, variable.signals. So here we have, we'll get a brand new window open by typing the word figure. Then we'll do subplot, three, one, one. And there are commas separating each of those. So now we should have blank frames showing up. We're on the first plot, so we have a blank frame here. All right, so let's go ahead and type plot, and we'll just do the y dot time dot comma y dot signals dot values from our last plot. We'll make it black. So here we have our plot. Okay, and if we wanted to add our x label and y label, we would do that now for this plot. We could also add the title for this first plot. Let's go ahead and switch plots. So we'll do subplot. We'll, we'll do plot number two. So we're going to do subplot three comma one comma two. Press enter, and we should have a second blank slide here. Okay. Now let's plot a different signal. We'll do the two times y that we plotted a moment ago in blue. So we'll press enter. And here we have it. Okay. If we wanted a third plot, we would do that same method. Subplot three comma one comma three now, since we're on the third plot. Our third frame appears. And we do the plot command. I'm just gonna use the same signal. And here we have it. So once again, once you plot these individually, you can add the X label and Y label and then the title at the above. You can add a title for each plot if you uh, wish to do so. And then you would add a legend. You can do insert legend here, and that would give you the legend. There's also a text command that I give in the handout. And you can double click and alter the text here. Okay. All right, and next, I will go through some tips and tricks and just some things that will make your simulation experience a little easier.